what is it about that graph that has, has inspired so much interest and controversy? Well, I think the, the, you know, the hockey stick graph has become a, a lightning rod with climate change deniers uh, because it's iconic. Uh, it's been featured prominently. It was featured prominently in the summary for policymakers of the uh, third assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. It has um, been, you know, it's become a, a symbol of climate change. And so the critics um, and, you know, the industry funded attack dogs uh, look for iconic images, um, uh, things that they can try to bring down and then claim that the entire fabric of the underlying science um, has uh, somehow uh, been undermined. Uh, so there's this tendency, for example, to try to say, well, you know, our entire understanding of climate change, our reason for accepting the existence of climate change is all based on a single 15-year-old study by Mike Mann, uh, when in fact uh, you could get rid of the hockey stick, or the dozens of independent reconstructions that come to the same conclusion as the hockey stick. You could throw all of that aside and there would still be many independent lines of evidence that tell us that the globe is warming, the climate is changing, it's due to human activity, and it's a problem if we don't do something about it. But if you can take one single image and try to convince the public that our entire scientific understanding hinges upon that one image, then it becomes uh, very easy to set up this straw man where you undermine, you, know, you attack the hockey stick, often by attacking the scientists themselves, myself and my colleagues, um, trying to undermine uh, their uh, credibility, trying to question their integrity. Um, and so it gets quite nasty and it's all part of a cynical effort to set up this straw man depiction of the science where it somehow depends completely on one 15-year-old study. It's sort of like uh, those who uh, attack the science of evolution, uh, proponents of intelligent design. Uh, they like to call it Darwinism. They like to call evolution Darwinism because then it makes it about one person, one person whom you can try to vilify and attack and pretend that the entire basis for the science has collapsed because you were able to somehow undermine the public's uh, faith in that one individual.